Sometimes as you work with an image, you may want to take more precise control over a specific area. This is really easy to do if you take advantage of an adjustment layer. An adjustment layer is essentially an empty layer that can hold adjustments. And instead of applying to a photo, it applies to what is down below. Now, normally that's a single image or an HDR photo that you've merged, but it is possible that you've added in a texture inside of Aurora, or maybe you've added some other graphic layer. Well, in any case, the adjustment layer will apply to everything that goes beneath it. So it's a very useful tool. Here's how it works. Let's click on the new layer icon here, and I'll choose add new adjustment layer. This puts it in and you'll see that all of the effects are applied. Now on the new adjustment layer, let's start with image radiance. And what I'm gonna do is start to darken down the edges a bit. I like how the image radiance is really coming in from the sides there and it makes nice shadows, but I don't want that everywhere. So on this adjustment layer, I'm gonna click and choose the gradient mask. This will make it easy to add or subtract from this image. Just make sure that the mask tool is selected and you'll see the ability to draw within the image itself. Now I'll click to view that and you can see that we can start to add in from the edges there a little bit. There we go. And I'll click done to apply it and then click and add another gradient mask. This time from the other side and click done. And what you should see here is that that shadow is coming only into the corners as I've added it. Now, anything else we do here, such as additional denoise or any overall adjustment under the basics tab will work quite well. For example, I'm gonna lower the exposure a bit in those corners. And what I have here is a great way of selectively darkening the image. Now let's add another adjustment layer. And in this case, I'm going to apply a nice boost to color. What I wanna do is make this sort of global initially. So I'll come down here and bump up the vibrance and the color contrast, which I like on the chair. But I'd like to feather that. So I'll click and add a nice radial mask. Now, what I have to do is decide if I want to add or subtract. So what I'll do is click on the mask button here and first choose to invert it. Now the mask is empty and I can draw and start to create a nice shape here. Let's place this right here on the chair, stretch that out a little bit and rotate. And what I've done is created a great targeted hotspot on the chair. Now I can adjust this and start to pull the edges here for more feathering or grab the inside there and you see that the two allow for easy interaction. Now let's deselect the mask. And if you look at that, you'll notice that that little boost of color is happening right on the chair in the foreground, giving it a nice pop. However, it's affecting the hat a little bit. So I'm gonna click, grab my brush and choose erase. And now what I could do is subtract. So what's actually kind of cool here is you have the ability to combine different tools together. Here I used an elliptical mask combined with just some paintbrush to refine the target. If I look at the mask here, it's really easy to see. I can tell exactly what's happened to this image. Change my mind, grab the paintbrush here, lower the opacity a little bit, and build up a few strokes on the body of the chair. And you see that it fills it in. The ability to actually see the masks on the adjustment layer is one of the best features. It really makes it simple for you to be super precise in your targeted adjustments. So there I've painted in that nice chair with a little bit of overspill. Let's turn the mask off. And if I toggle that on and off, you see the great boost in color. While we're at it, let's put a little bit of structure in that chair. There we go, and a little microstructure to bring out the wood texture. And I love how that deep wood grain is coming out. The use of adjustment layers opens up a whole new world. You can target specific adjustments to specific areas. All of the tools you've already learned can now be isolated, targeting just the sky, a subject, a background object. You can be as precise as you want, and this truly unlocks an artistic vision.